Good morning, students. This is Mrs. Moss, and we're finally starting our brand new workbook, Module 3. And as you can see, we are doing addition and subtraction of fractions. So let's open up to um, the very first lesson, not the homework page, the problem set page. Put your name and date. I am on page 5. And I'm going to read the objectives. Let me see if I can zoom in. Okay. Make equivalent fractions with the number line, the area model, and numbers. So this is the number line. These are the area models. And these are the numbers. Um, go ahead and fold your paper. Let me zoom out. Um, fold your paper in half like this. So you, you just like line it up with the end here and do a, a light crease. And that will just help us with the number lines just to get the middle of the number lines. Open it back up and let's start the first problem. It says, use the folded paper strip, that's what we just did, to mark points zero and one above the number line. Okay, here's the number line. So let's mark a beginning and an end and it said above, we're supposed to mark a zero and a one. So what would the middle be? That's right, one half or 0 0.5. And then it says um, to mark zero halves, one half, and two over two below it. Okay, so if this is zero. This is going to be zero over two. And if this is 1, this will be 2 over 2. How do I know that? Because, remember, this line is a division line. So if I were to flip it, and it looks like this, 2 divided by 2 is 1. One whole. So whenever you have two num of the same numbers on top of each other, when you divide them, they're going to equal 1 whole. So where would the half, so we use this one, we use this one, so now we have the half. The half is going to go exactly halfway between zero and one, kind of where we, um, we folded it. So I'm gonna put a line and label it one half. Okay, so before we even finish this problem, I want you to do what we just did on problem number two. Okay, so all by yourself, it wants you to mark zero and one, and then mark in the thirds, just like we did it. Okay, go ahead, pause this video and try it by yourself. Okay, if you're continuing to watch, it means you already tried it by yourself, because now we're gonna go over how you, how you do it. Okay, so I'm gonna mark this side zero, this side one. Oops, it wanted me to do it above the number line, I forgot, put the zero up here. And then below, I'm going to add zero thirds right here, zero thirds. I know that one is equal to three over three. Okay, so now I use that one and I use this one. And now I need to mark one third and two thirds. I know that there's no middle because that, that doesn't really make sense for thirds. So um, half about, I have to basically make two even marks in between zero and and one because it would be like zero thirds, one third, two thirds, three thirds. And now I write it in. Okay, is that what you did? Good. Now let's go back to the first problem and finish it. So it says, um, draw one vertical line down the middle of each rectangle, creating two parts. Okay, you do that. Remember, a vertical line looks like that. Draw one down each rectangle, creating two parts. So we're basically, we're drawing halves. We're drawing fractions. Okay, now let's continue. Shade the left half of each. Okay, quickly shade, not like a really nice coloring job. Fast shade. Partition with horizontal lines to show the equivalent fractions. 
two fourths, three six, four eighths, and five tenths. It's just like our warm up. Okay, so basically, with each one of these, we're going to do something different. So they want this rectangle to show two fourths and this rank rectangle to show three sixths and this rectangle to show four eighths and this rectangle to show five tenths. So let's try the first one together. You want to use horizontal lines. This is a horizontal line like that. This was a vertical line. So we need to divide horizontally this square into four pieces. So to do that, how many horizontal lines should I draw? That's right, I only have to draw one because if I count them, there's one, two, three, four parts, and that's how many parts I need. And then how many do I shade in? I shade in the numerator. So um, interestingly enough, it's exactly the same because if there's four pieces and they want me to shade in two, then I would just shade this again. It's equivalent fraction. So I know what I had originally shaded was one half. So that's why they say one half equals two fourth. They're exactly the same. Okay, try it for try the second one by yourself. How can you draw horizontal lines to make six little squares? And then you're going to shade in three of them. Let's see. To make six squares, I need two horizontal lines. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm going to shade in three of them. Look, it's the same. I just proved again that one half equals two fourths. And then the last part of the problem, it said use multiplication to show the change of units. So again, like we did in the warm up, they want to know like two times what equals four. Two times what equals four? That's right, it's two. Whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. One times two is two. Yep, that works. Another equivalent fraction. Okay. Do the next one. How can you divide it horizontally so there's eight boxes? That's right, you have to draw three horizontal lines. One, two, three. Let's make sure there's eight boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, shade in four of them. Oh, look, I already shaded in four. That means that they're even again. One half equals four eighths. Okay, now you do the multiplication. What can you multiply so that this, um, this uh, problem is accurate? That's right, the number four. One times four is four, two times four is eight. Another set of equivalent fractions. Okay, do the last one. That's right, are you noticing a pattern? In this one we added one horizontal line, this one was two, this one is three, and this one is four. One, two, three, four. There should be 10 boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Yep, shade in five of them. Oh look, it's what I already did. One half equals five tenths. Multiply. That's right. Five is the missing number. Another set of equivalent fractions. Okay, using what we just did, I want you to do it by yourself for this one. So I'll help you by reading the directions. It says, follow the same pattern as problem one, but with thirds. Okay, so it wants you to divide the rectangle into um, thirds. So... To do that, you would do two lines. Go ahead, fill it in. Because these are now thirds. Okay, so this one is going to show zero thirds. This one is going to show one third. This one is going to show two thirds. 
and this one is going to show three thirds. Okay, so you need to shade the appropriate number of rectangles so that it's correct. For example, this one, how many would you shade? That's right, zero, we're done. Okay, so do the other three shaded, um, these are called, uh, I forget what they're called, um, area models. You shade the area models, and when you're done shading, then unpause it. Okay, so to check your answers, if you already did it, you should have one rectangle shaded here, two rectangles shaded here, and three rectangles shaded here. Turn the page. All right, now you're ready to do the same thing with fourths. With fourths. Okay, so first I'm going to label it zero and one. And then you need to label it. Actually, remember it wanted us to do the zero and the one up there. Now you need to label it zero over four, one over four, two over four, three over four, and four over four. Okay, you label the line by yourself. And then I'll just continue with the direction, then you can pause it. And then down here, same thing. You're gonna shade in the area models. These are fourths. So you can choose, you can either do vertical lines, one, two, three. If I do three lines, there'll be four pieces. Or you could do a horizontal and a vertical line because then there's still four pieces and you would shade different numbers. So this box should show, um, this one should show zero fourth, this one should show one fourth, this one should show two fourths, and this one, oh, actually, I'm sorry, I'm gonna erase this. This one shows one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths. Okay, so um, now you can finish this by yourself. This is the last required problem. Let me remind, remind myself if we're gonna do one more. Um, yeah, we're gonna do one more. So you are allowed to skip four and five. These are bonus. I always recommend that you challenge yourself. Then the last thing we're going to do today, I'd like you to use page seven because there's space, but we're actually not going to do the exit ticket. I'm going to draw a line. So the last part I would like you to do is, is practice writing equivalent fractions like we were doing um, um, together as the warm up. So I'm going to write a few problems and I do want you to copy them down. So don't worry, I'll move my hand in, in a couple of minutes. Let's do one more. Okay, so um, you're gonna find the numerator, the numerator, the denominator, and the numerator. I'll number these one, two, three, four. Okay, so go ahead, pause the video, copy these down. Then when you're done copying them down, go back and finish this problem, finish solving it finish solving these, and then you can press play again. When you press play, I'm going to be going over these answers. So don't press play until you're ready. Okay, if you're continuing to watch, it means you already did these by yourself. So let's figure out these equivalent fractions. So I have to figure out four times what equals 12? Four times three, that's right. So whatever I put at the bottom, I also put at the top. Three times three is nine. Number two, what times one is eight? The answer is eight. So one times eight is eight. And whatever I do to the numerator, I do to the denominator. Two times eight is 16. So these are equivalent fractions. These are equivalent fractions. Next one, 20 times what is 40? The answer is two. Multiply the numerator 10 times two, so the missing number is 20. These are equivalent fractions. And our final one, five times what is 15? The answer is three. 
Whatever I do to the denominator, I do to the numerator. 3 times 3 is 9. Good. To end, let's practice saying these fractions. You can repeat after me. 3 fourths, 9 twelfths, 1 half, 8 sixteenths, 10 twentieths, 20 fortieths, 3 fifths, 9 fifteenths. Very good. And remember, the top number is called the numerator. Very good. And the bottom number is called the denominator. And this line indicates division. All right. Very nice job.